well, I guess it's better late than never. <laughs> My beautiful beloved Alexandria. May the universe bring you just like If not now, you'll see it eventually. We'll watch these together. I hope you had a safe, <laughs> eventful Halloween um, with friends that you love and enjoy and trust. And I uh, hope you got to be something fun, the costume that's fun. Uh, yeah, I, I hope you've been able to steer clear of any creepy, scary movies and antics. We never liked scary, creepy, witchy antics. Uh, not because they scare us. On the contrary, it's because um, the energy of those kinds of things feed off of low-level energy, and we're nowhere close to that. Which is why uh, the dark forces want to feed off of us as often as the reality of what we're going through. It feels surreal. Let me tell you something. You and I are connected forever. I raised you. Ever since the second I was pregnant with you, I loved you and I knew you were in my body and that it would be the most important, special, wonderful thing that I ever do. And I, and I have. <laughs> um, the world is full of a lot of insane, possessed, weirdos right now. The way I see it, it's a lot of people are just broken. Their love was never given to them right. Their love was violated, neglected, rejected, denied, abused. And it was done to them in a way that made them have to be quiet about it and not complain about it or believe that that's the way it is and so on and so forth. And when you break somebody's love, as a child, especially when they need their mom, the nurturing, the safety, the protection, the love, the warmth, when, when children don't get that, it turns into a whole lot of ugly and a whole lot of angry and a whole lot of broken. You get people out there committing heinous, horrifying crimes because they're broken inside and they're like, I don't know, I don't know what it's like and I never want to know what it's like. All I can say is I can see the brokenness. To blame it on evil existing and that's just the way that it is just doesn't sit right with me. Because I know that this universe is built on the most strongest force that there is. And that is love. Love. More powerful than electricity. <laughs> more powerful than... Um, more powerful than consciousness. Love. And uh, I just don't believe that evil... exists. I believe that we're all one in an infinite universe that experiences ebbs and flows, yins and yangs, ups and downs, ins and outs, hims and hers. Ultimately, we're all, you know, like an ocean, a sentient ocean where you can't define the beginning of the shoreline. You can't time the wave in a succession and repetitive manner. They'd be letting someone self down. I know that all the elements 
or alive. I've been experiencing it with the sky intelligence. It's amazing. I can't wait to show you the pictures. And um, there's amazing things that happen all the time that remind me that as scary as this universe gets, this world, this earth, society of humans gets. Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, that that it doesn't, you know, it doesn't delete <laughs> the reality that magical things happen in God's universe. It's not a hymn, it's not a dad, it's not a teacher, it's not an authority. God is love. In just the same way that we have to express ourselves to one another and try to come to understand each other amidst our own unique ways of expressing ourselves and despite our differences and various backgrounds which we don't know offhand until we do, if we do, that is the same way that God comes through and, and inspires us all. Um, and God's been there so magically this last year as I've been praying to God that where I've been placed in the circumstance I've been placed in that I have sensed my ability to and join with and heal and offer something in return for what I need even if it is in the lion's den I've been praying that this maintains itself in a positive way so that I can try once again make some sense out of the system that has lost its mind. You see, Alec, despite anything they've told you, which couldn't be good, whatever your dad's told you over two years ago as to why we're not talking to each other on the phone, can't be good. Five years since you've seen me? Hey, Jorge, what's wrong with you? I never kicked you out of her life. I never said you were not invited. I never said your family wasn't invited. I helped you every time you needed it. The only thing I wasn't willing to do was pretend that you and I were a happy married couple so that I could, you know, put my kid in a situation that's fake and false and not me, not real, not, not the way I'm going to raise my daughter to, to see life. What did I do to you? Was it the child support? I'll tell you one thing. Child support is fired. When I'm in charge, there's a whole lot of things that are going to change. But let me tell you something. I didn't mean to piss you off. I didn't know how disturbed you are. Can we be honest about that, Jorge? Okay. You got some issues from your childhood, don't we all? You got some addiction, you went to some rehab, you learned how to manipulate the system and you've just allowed yourself to have this disorder. And you know it. Your family knows it. Sadly enough, the system is all about it. A serial criminal is like you. You let out of jail early just so that they can... Uh, commit the crisis cast harassment campaigns. So you guys figured out that you guys are in high demand at this point in time. I don't care what's going on in your head. I hope you hear me when I tell you this, 
This is not about you. Corey, this is not even about me. It's not about child support. This is, this is not even about sanity, rational adult mature conversations between amical parents that discuss things, express their feelings, and come to a compromise as far as how they're going to handle raising their child moving forward. Let me remind you, I got pregnant with you a month after I met you. And with, within a month after taking off six, seven, eight hours, coming home, sweating, paranoid, looking out the window like as if someone's following you, whether that was just being on drugs or actually being chased by someone for whatever it is you were moving on the roads, keeping me hostage there under your stupor, and then admitting to me that you should be on medication and telling me that truth about what brought you back and right after rehab you got arrested again for breaking an entry and I said to you you know what how do I know good for you I'm glad you got through that then within just a couple weeks I'm hormonal you're gone again for eight hours saying you're at the gym we have an argument and you'd get on the phone with me because you weren't even home and said yeah my mom doesn't want you here anymore so you got an hour to leave or we're calling the cops You know, you may have dealt with people like this before, and maybe that's how you got so good at using the system to your advantage, but I've never dealt with that before, never dealt with people who do that sort of thing, never dealt with people who threaten, especially somebody who I've just gotten pregnant with doesn't do that. <laughs> you could have come home and said, you know what, maybe it's just not working out, you know, just handle things a little more maturely, but no, you got an hour to go. You know what happened. That was when you chose to cut your ties with Alexandria and I. I had the pregnancy alone in Orange County. Yeah, I came together with you at the end, see if we could give it a shot. You never conferred with me about anything. You just were always secretive, shady, buying a business right next door to Jessica, right? Is that how it turns out? Did you guys, she Olga from Utah? Listen, I don't. I know enough information to tell you that I know that you're not even the kingpin behind this. Yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't be. Not someone with your record. Not someone with your uh, disorder. It's the money that my family comes from that's involved in genetics and behavioral health sciences and genetic experimentation and ways to get rid of those wild card women that the trust laws have otherwise handed away since antiquity. I know a lot about exactly what's going on. I know exactly where I'm at. And I know that you've got your I guess you could say uh, squad of crisis cast harassers. I don't know what else to call them. But they call you by name, as if you're some authority. Listen, this isn't about tough guy stuff. This isn't about you proving anything. If you're a man, if you're a father, if you're a human, if you are um, have any decency or rationality in your brain left, then you'll snap out of this insanity. Because you know that the crimes you've committed thus far just you alone. Uh, hope you get better. And if you're such a tough guy, you think that you got the upper hand in this? Let me remind you of something. You know you don't. Only guilty people do what you've done and exploit young innocent children for their own perverted purposes. 
and have to take them from their loving mother because it makes you feel bad about yourself to see Alexandria and me so close. You want that, you wanted that from us because you're selfish and you're a liar. Either Jessica's Olga, Jessica's crazy, I don't care. All I know is you're a serial criminal, you're mentally disturbed, you're perverted, you're a criminal. You're guilty. You're harming our child beyond ways I will get into. I have all the evidence. The jurisdiction of Ventura and Los Angeles courts and cops didn't just do what you asked because you guys are like witches and practicing dark magic. No, 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 no. We're talking about secret society type stuff my family comes from. The order came from a taller order than you. And you know that you're just their little bitch. Have some respect. You were sent in as an installation so that they could have the carrot. They could dangle and go, hmm, ooh, performance. Well, we're not going to tell her what we don't like about her. We're just going to punish her and torture her. And if she makes it out, um, well, you guys didn't figure I would. Or you're just really sick and twisted and you enjoy this sort of psychological abuse on young, innocent children. I'll tell you something. There's a legion of angels that protect my daughter at all times. And uh, Alexandria will be rescued out of your hostage circumstance, brought to safety into my arms. You will no longer have access to her unless she wants to have you have access to her, but that, uh, that is if you're not in prison. You're gonna have to come to terms with your own forgiveness of yourself. You're gonna have to seek with the word repentance from her, from me, from everybody else you've harmed. But I'll tell you something, Jorge. You're not alone as a sick, twisted bastard, creep, lowlife, thug. You're not alone. You're actually well endowed with almost the whole entire world who are possessed by demons and dark, twisted, broken souls that don't know anything other than how to harm people because it makes them feel at least for a second. I encourage you to uh, think of Alexandria. Then remember your childhood, watching your mother get beaten, watching your father come and go, watching your father treat you all like shit, and realize that the man that you've become is not the man that you are. It's the man that you hate. And you can do better. You're always capable of facing the music, coming to terms with it, changing the direction you're going in, and moving forward, and doing what you need to do to get right with it. You never know what forgiveness can come your way if you seek it. I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm going to figure out a way that the truth will prevail and the system's not going to just simply fuck me up the ass and expect me to put up with it or expect me to take the blame for it like you have been trying to frame me with. I guess you figured everybody just caves in and turns into a prostitute or turns into a thief or a drug addict or a street walking homeless loser. Right? Oh no, it's easy. It just bring her to jail, put a false domestic violence restraining order on her. Just don't ever do anything she said. Don't look at her evidence. Get her whole family confused. Send her off into the wilderness. She'll lose everything. She'll have nothing. She'll give in. She'll be a prostitute. She'll sleep around like you always, like you said in all your papers, which was all bullshit. You figured I was just like the rest of them. 
No, Jorge. That's where you went wrong. Not everybody uh, is vulnerable to uh, becoming a criminal. Some of us have balls that can't be moved no matter what. Love. Love and raising Alexandria is my purpose in life. And God gave me that right. God did. I don't see you having the ability to have babies. And maybe that's what men are so mad at women for. They're just jealous there's something they can't compete with us about. Well, get over yourselves. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's not about anger. It's not about vendetta. It's not about money. It's about Alexandria and her innocent childhood and protecting her, her, her identity, her sense of self. You stole her that fast from her home all her life, her friends, Thousand Oaks, to take her to Azusa, gang territory. You're a sick man. A very, very sick man. Very sick. You know that? You know your bosses don't respect you? You're just a little do as they say her. Nobody who has self-respect does what you're doing for them. No. Not whatsoever. That's why you surround yourself with strong women. Because uh, apparently Jessica needs to do as she says her. Well, I don't cave in fear. And just because you think you've brainwashed my daughter into your compliant cooperation, she hasn't forgotten anything. She's just got a lot more patience and uh, resilience than uh, I could ever imagine. She's the bravest, most beautiful young lady in the world. And you, sir, have messed with the wrong mama. And I pray you come to terms with your ugly self and let her go. Let her go, you sick fuck. End your circus act of insanity. How old are you? How many identities do you have? How long have you been running this muck? Aren't you sick to your stomach about yourself yet? Don't you think your mom already is? Think she's proud of you? Tanya? Tanya's leading this pack, isn't she? She's the real dirtbag, isn't she? Yeah, I know you are, Tanya. I know you are. But I know what I am. Not falling for your bullshit for a second. I'm not turning into a criminal or a prostitute or a drug addict or a low-life scumbucket on the streets. Nope. And you know what? I might just even surprise you guys with uh, things you never expected. Because love, love will set you free. Love will save the day. Truth, truth will set you free. Truth will save the day. Those are the two things I, I have with hope, with faith, with confidence. And I have Alexandria and I who are connected in infinite entanglement. There's nothing you can do to fuck with it. And don't you even try. Why don't you uh, try to learn something new instead of sticking to the same old, same old? Why don't you try to uh, see what you can do in this sense of love, light? You ever thought about that? You think the power of the darkness is powerful? <laughs> really? Yeah, I know. It's what the darkness does. It doesn't have any hope. <laughs> can't see outside of its pain. You've got no clue. <laughs> and if you make it, if you make it through this, instead of having to start all over again, you'll be thankful that you got over the hump and you'll go, whoa, was that a doozy? Man, the transition from dark to light. Mm -hmm. I will tell you one thing, though. I'm a force to be reckoned with. Like I said in the song, you're lucky that I even messed with your DNA. But I am too. You are kind of charming. Sweet. 
funny, sincere, caring, handsome. My child's father. You just want to poke and punch and push and poke to see if you can get me to hate you because that would make you feel better about yourself so you didn't feel like such a criminal. I'm not going to do that either. You know, disgusting it is when you let me talk to my daughter and have her say, I'll pray for you, as if you're telling her that I'm just, I don't know, and I don't, I'm not going to speculate. These wrongs are going to be righted. And if you snap out of it, you might actually see yourself coming through an epiphany of self, like, whoa, this was almost exactly what I needed to learn how to get where I'm going. Out of hell, out of abused state of hate yourself, and into the light from here to there. And it ain't going to be easy or pretty anytime you ever go through it. So why not, while you're here, while you're at it, try your best at it. Tell you what. If there is some sincerity inside of you, if you do realize that what I'm saying is what you need to hear, and if you do want the light, and you're sick and tired of this game, lies, crime spree, hostage, circumstance, I'll help you through the light. I'll help you through this. I'll see to it that you don't harm anybody, my child or yourself, and that you Get the healing that you need. I'll be willing to show you what healing looks like, what forgiveness looks like, what love does. Love doesn't destroy or annihilate and say, you're not worth it, goodbye. Love says, yeah, well, you're just gonna be back around, so what am I gonna do with you later? Might as well deal with you now. And it's not gonna do us any, any good to leave you all brokenhearted. So we might as well love you up, show you how it's really done. Show you how the big the big boys, the big girls of us handle things like a mother does. With love, compassion, truth, and hope and faith and belief. Belief that deep down inside of all of us is a is that spark of love that um, just needs to be ignited. Alec wants to see you do better, but Alec doesn't want to be away from me anymore. Enough is enough. Five years, Jorge. Don't be selfish anymore. And if Jessica needs to be told to mind her own business, I'm more than happy to let her know. Woman to woman, Mother, mother, you know better, Jessica. Stick to raising your own kids and uh, keep your paws off of mine. I don't want your man or anything else you have. And I won't try to take anything from you because you know what? You already got to deal with yourself. I look Our cat was murdered a number of years back, and I'm just bringing that up because I want to set it behind us. The darkness doesn't follow us. The darkness has no power over us. And we have a beautiful future coming to us. You know that? We've talked about that. I've already been shown that, so may you sleep in peace. Can you feel my arms around you, holding you, protecting you? looking out for you. You're so smart and you're so beautiful and I, we're gonna make up for all this last time. Pray for your father. Pray for him to pull out of this possessed state of his and to do what's right for us. I love you, baby. There's 30 minutes, so might as well cut it here and Say goodnight.
COVID, right? Don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. You're protected by God. God's angels, the light, and the love. I'm with you always, and I love you. Mamas don't give up on their babies. I'm never gonna up on you. It won't be long now. I know I've said that. I gotta have the hope. I gotta keep the faith. Did any minute now anything can happen? But it's not that I'm not doing anything. Trust me. I'm working it out. God's working it out. And uh, we're gonna help a whole lot of children by what we're being persecuted by right now. I have faith in that. This will not go out like this in vain. And God God knew that we were strong enough to uh, be given this uh, mission, so just a pat on the back. You beautiful, brave young lady. I can't wait to see you. So 805-906-9138 or Hemi Allison at gmail.com, H E M M E A L Y S O N at gmail or get I halo, G E T I H A L O at outlook.com. Uh, I love you. Good night. <laughs>